Hey people, my name is Swan, I'm a French guy and something like one year ago I discovered Unity and I started developing my first video game. During the last year I published some YouTube devlogs and a lot more content on the Discord I created for this project. Many of you guys told me that I should publish English content, which is a completely smart advice. So a few months ago, I fully translated my Discord, which has now both English and French sides, and now I want to translate the few devlogs I have on YouTube. Once these videos will be translated, I will continue publishing them in English and maybe in French. I don't know yet if I will keep both languages. Before I start, I would like to thank all the people who support me and keep me motivated. Really, thank you. And now, let's come back one year ago. Thanks for watching. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, I'm Swan and I'm trying to make a video game while I don't know anything about it. Voila! In fact, a few weeks ago, during the first Covid containment, I discovered Unity and I discovered the phenomenal amount of resources, tutorials and projects that can be found everywhere on the internet. And I said to myself, go, I have to try this, it's gonna be cool. And so I started making the first 2D game, a kind of platformer between an old Mario and a Brofort. This game isn't finished at all, neither in the gameplay nor in the visual, but I coded everything in C Sharp while I didn't know anything about C Sharp, so yeah, super cool. And then I discovered the Unity Asset Store, and I was like, whoa, the incredible amount of content, super beautiful, super complete assets. I absolutely wanted to test them, and I especially discovered the Synthi Studios Polygon assets, which are just amazing, and I said, okay, I want this, I want to have fun with this. So I said to my 2D game, uh, don't move, I come back, maybe and I started tricking the 3D assets. So there are two main assets. The first one is Polygon Pirate Pack from Synthi Studios, which contains a whole bunch of objects, decorations, buildings, weapons, characters, in low poly, in a pirate universe. Just sublime. I immediately loved this asset and I said, okay, I want that. The second one is Invector Third Person Shooter Template, which is a huge asset that can be found in many indie games you can see on YouTube, and which allows you to control a third person character, to make him move, to make him fight in melee, to make him use weapons, etc. So there is a world camera setting system and an inventory, in short, it's extremely complete. There's a lot of settings, but on the other end, the documentation isn't very complete. But in any case, in only a few clicks, I had a pirate able to evolve in the Sinti world, and that was really pleasant. Too happy with my first results, I wanted to share them with friends who weren't always available for a call, so I recorded a full video that I sent via WeTransfer, but it was time consuming, so I decided to put them on YouTube with restricted access. Over time, I wanted to do better recordings, then I switched my YouTube channel to public, and I made this introduction video, and here we are. But then, Pirate with a 4, what is it? First, it's possibly a temporary name because I haven't found a better one yet. Then, it's a video game, it's a project, it's a challenge, a pastime, a hobby, bref, it's new and it will be very cool. At the moment, I have no idea of the story, the characters or even the purpose of the game, I'm mainly interested in the gameplay, what I want the player to be able to do in the game. For example, I want him to be able to climb any surface, like in Assassin's Creed, because I'm a big fan, I played this game so much, in particular Black Flag, which is obviously a big inspiration for my game. Of course, I played a lot of other games that I love and which necessarily contain elements I will add to the game. Since I don't know yet where this project is going and since I don't know yet what my capacities are, let's say that we'll see how it evolves. All I know is that I want it to be an action, adventure, exploration, infiltration game in an open world with different means of locomotions and with player customization. That's for sure what I'm working on at the moment. After that, I have a whole bunch of ideas, a skill tree, a realistic ecosystem with people who live their lives, a customizable board with a crew to recruit, novel battles, a building system, why not crafting, multiple choice story, in short, there are plenty of ideas. Obviously, given that I'm alone on this project and given that I have to learn everything, I'm not a developer, I'm not an artist, I do this in my spare time, so yeah, obviously I guess I might not be able to do everything. But hey, it can be fun to try to do few things, having a nice gameplay, even if it's a sandbox game, and voila, just create a little story, some animations, some missions, it will already be huge. 
Ideally, I would like to finish the game, or at least a prototype of the game, even if it's not perfect, even if it becomes boring quickly, even if the story is really poor, just finish it, publish it on Steam so people can play it and tell, okay, this guy doesn't know anything about game development, he made that, it's clearly not the game of the year, but it works, it's nice, come on, let's try to do something too. Bref, so here I am, I tell myself that I am starting this project without any pretension, neither for the game nor for the YouTube channel. I do it because it makes me happy to create a game, it makes me happy to share all that with you, but somewhere it's without obligation, without constraint and without pressure. It's just entertainment, sharing, good life because we all need it and that's it. Anyway, if you're interested in this project, if you want to be kind, please subscribe, drop a blue thumb, join the Discord, the link is in the description. I made this video for you, so don't hesitate to tell me what you think about it in comments, in Discord messages, whatever. The truth is that your feedback matters a lot. The best ideas will come from you, and I'm always looking for advice on how to improve the game, improve the videos, plus it will make me super happy, so go! Well, thank you for being there, thank you for existing, have a nice day, and see you soon for the first devlog. Cheers!